The Strait of Gibraltar, historically known as the Pillars of Hercules by the ancients and Romans, is a narrow channel connecting the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea. This small yet crucial waterway lies between two significant continents, Europe and Africa, at a point where they are separated by a mere 13 kilometers, about 8 miles. At this narrowest point, the two continents are so close that, on a clear day, one can easily see across from one to the other. Despite their proximity, no bridge has ever been constructed to physically connect these landmasses. Over the past few decades, numerous proposals have been made to link the two continents via a land connection. Such a connection could be highly beneficial, potentially linking the 450 million people of the European Union with the 1.5 billion people of Africa. The economic impact could be substantial, boosting trade, improving transportation, and increasing tourism. But despite the clear advantages, the question remains. Why hasn't a bridge been built across the Strait of Gibraltar? The Strait of Gibraltar is one of the world's busiest maritime routes. It is approximately 57 kilometers, 35 miles, long, and at its narrowest point, it is only about 13 kilometers wide. The average depth of the strait is around 365 meters, 1,200 feet, but in some places, it exceeds 900 meters, 3,000 feet. This narrow passageway serves as a natural gateway between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, making it a vital corridor for international shipping. By comparison, the Suez Canal, a man-made canal, connects the Red Sea with the Mediterranean and is notorious for its narrow width, where large ships frequently face the risk of getting stuck. In contrast, the Strait of Gibraltar offers a wide passage for even the largest cargo vessels, making it an essential route for global trade. Each year, over 100,000 ships pass through the Strait of Gibraltar, a staggering number compared to the 20,000 ships that navigate the Suez Canal or the 14,000 that traverse the Panama Canal. Many of these vessels carry valuable cargo from the Western Hemisphere to the Middle East, Africa, and Europe, and vice versa. Additionally, due to its proximity to fossil fuel-rich countries, the Strait sees the daily passage of around 300 oil tankers, carrying billions of dollars worth of crude oil. Given the strategic and economic importance of the Strait of Gibraltar, it's no surprise that various feasibility studies and proposals have been made over the years to build a bridge connecting Europe and Africa. However, constructing such a bridge presents numerous challenges, both technical and financial. Firstly, the estimated cost of building a bridge across the Strait of Gibraltar ranges between $5 billion and $20 billion. This would be one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in history. The bridge would need to be designed in a way that allows the world's largest ships to pass underneath, which would require an extremely high clearance. Constructing such tall pillars in the deep waters of the strait, where depths can reach over 900 meters 3, feet, is a monumental engineering challenge. Furthermore, the cost would likely need to be shared by the countries that stand to benefit most from the bridge, primarily Spain and Morocco. However, Political disagreements between the two nations have prevented any formal agreement on cost sharing. Spain argues that Morocco would gain more economic benefits from the bridge and should therefore bear a larger share of the cost, while Morocco insists on an equal division of expenses. Building a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar is not just a financial challenge. It is also a significant engineering and environmental one. The Strait is one of the busiest shipping routes in the world and any bridge construction would need to ensure that maritime traffic is not disrupted. This would require the bridge to be exceptionally high, with its pillars extending from the deep seabed. To put it in perspective, the world's tallest bridge pillars, found in the Millau Viaduct in France, are only 340 meters, 1,104 feet, tall, while the depth of the Strait of Gibraltar in some areas exceeds 900 meters. Additionally, the region's strong ocean currents, which flow in opposite directions at different depths, pose another challenge. Surface currents move eastward from the Atlantic into the Mediterranean, while deeper currents flow westward. Any structure built in this area would have to withstand these powerful and opposing forces. Moreover, the Strait of Gibraltar lies on the boundary between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, making it seismically active. Earthquakes are a real and present danger in this region. In 1755, the Lisbon earthquake, one of the most powerful in history, caused widespread destruction in Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. More recently, in 1960, 
a 5.7 magnitude earthquake caused significant damage in Morocco. A bridge across the strait would need to be designed to withstand not only strong ocean currents but also potentially devastating earthquakes. Given these challenges, alternative proposals have been suggested, such as constructing a tunnel beneath the strait, similar to the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France. However, this would likely increase the project's cost, making its feasibility even more questionable. Furthermore, there are concerns that building a bridge or tunnel could lead to an increase in illegal immigration from Africa to Europe, adding another layer of complexity to the project. While the idea of linking Europe and Africa via a bridge or tunnel across the Strait of Gibraltar is tantalizing, the financial, engineering, and political challenges are immense. Until these issues can be resolved, the Strait will continue to serve as a natural, yet formidable, barrier between the two continents.